Hi there. I'm Ryan Hunt, technical service manager with FMC. I covered North and South Dakota and Eastern Montana. Today we're out here in this wheat field, um, just west of Bismarck area along the Missouri River Bluffs, kinda. Uh, we've had some troubles out here in the past with some resistant grasses, you know, your uh, brome grasses, downy brome, cheat grass, and even some green foxtail or pigeon grass. So what we used was Anthem Flex at about four ounces last fall. Back out here now, not much grass to be seen. It's real nice, clean. Even the broadleaves are real good. Did have to come back and touch up some of the perennials, a few of the later, later emerging broadleaves. But, uh, you know, with all that moisture we had back in the fall of 2019 and then a uh, fairly wet end of June, we got some real good activation on this Anthem Flex and stayed real clean through this whole year. So, you know, with the uh, group two resistant brome grasses and the uh, group one and two resistant green foxtail or pigeon grass, what we've been seeing is some growers having some tough time controlling these in, you know, basically all their crops. You know, a lot of, pretty much every one of your crops getting a group one or group two on that green foxtail, which is why it's not dying anymore real well. Tough to control. Uh, this Anthem Flex, it's a group 15. It's a very long lasting soil residual product. Um, so, you know, it's a mode of action that hasn't been used a lot out in this part of the world in our wheat country here. So it's given us some good control and changing up that chemistry mode of action, getting some good herbicide rotation in there. Um, so what we can do and look at for a recommendation, if you're coming out with winter wheat and you've got a brome grass problem, um, or you know you're gonna have a pigeon grass problem next year, come out, plant your winter wheat, uh, we call it a delayed pre-emergence for the winter wheat. After that, winter wheat has just a little sprout on it. 80% of it has a sprout about a quarter of an inch long or longer. Come out here and spray three and a half, four ounces. Um, then you'll, you know, you'll get those fall rains, get that moisture over the winter time in the spring, have a nice clean field next, next spring. Um, other crops labeled, you know, if you want to come out here and do it with your fall burn down, I suggest you wait until the soil temperatures about 55 degrees or less, that just slows down the breakdown and makes it last that much longer into next season. Um, so, you know, you can come back, do this with your fall burn down, come back with lentils, peas, um, soybeans, corn, sunflowers. Spring wheat rotation is one month. So you're good on that too, to come back, you know, putting it down here in October, coming back planting next April or May, June, whenever it may be. Um, just a real good solid program here. You know, we could walk around out here. There's not really a weed left out in this field. It's it's looking pretty clean. Um, you know, if you're doing that fall burn down, planting a spring crop, I'd suggest you throw glyphosate in there with it and maybe even some 2,4-D or dicamba just to clean up everything else that might be out here. Some winter annuals starting or something that might, might not have got hit in the crop you harvested, but you know, come out three and a half to four ounces Anthem Flex, mix it in with your burn down here and you're pretty much good to go next spring with your, you know, spring wheat, with the one month rotation, lentils, peas, sunflowers, corn or soybeans. So pretty versatile plant back, not a lot of restrictions there. Um, you're not stuck to one crop with this either and you'll have some good resistance management practices there. So if you got any other questions, get a hold of your local FMC rep or FMC star retailer, or you can go check out our website and take a look and look up the label and get some more details on things. Thanks.